Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energy and today I will be reviewing the Transformers, the movie, the Lux Class, Overcast. And here he is in his pretty, pretty cool looking jet mode. More specifically, this is based, this is either is or is heavily based off of the uh, Russian MIG-29 fighter jet. And check out all of those details. You can even see a bit of a cockpit bit of a seat inside that cockpit and there we go oh if you notice these sweet um thruster flyers here are actually missiles you see these blue switches you hit them it fires the missiles we'll pull these off to the side then keep looking at this uh, jet mode and i have no complaints for this jet mode except for this little thing here as a bit i think it's a bit it's okay. You can like imagine this is either some kind of bomb or some sensor that he's just you know holding underneath. And if you notice these um this blue, this very familiar electric blue, that should that uh that if you remember from my stockade review, this guy is part of the Allspark, the Allspa, what was it called? The Allspark Battle or Allspark Allspark Power Line. Which was in, uh, which was there during like the final waves of Deluxes and one Voyager, which was Incinerator, of the original movie line, and this guy was one of them. Stockade was one, and so was this one, Overcast here, and Overcast is a straight repaint of the Dread of the of an earlier figure called Dreadwing. It's exactly the same as Dreadwing, just a different color. Now, I got Overcast because his paint scheme is a whole lot better. I really, really like this uh, this paint job that's going on with it. This black, the green, and even the electric blue and gray is fantastic on this guy. This, this is just really like it. This is spot on. So, let's get on to the uh, transformation, which is fairly simple. Uh, first, let's go down here. Pull this down. Pull this down. And you just sort of fold this over separate that so let's get in there fold there we go you take this fold it down these will be the legs take pull out the feet then you go here pull you pull well no one thing you can do is just you can actually separate this whole assembly and boom in which the head's pretty much there that's the head head's done go down here Pull this up, separate that up, and this part's a little bit tricky, but you have to move this over and under, turn this so that it points up, so that it gives you clearance to turn this that way, and then you move this forward and finish it off going back, and then to finish off the arm, I would like to, I, I just like moving this all the way like that, and then we can actually open this up, and that's his uh, hand. Those are his hands. This side, same thing. Lift this up. Turn it over. Clearance. And that. Turn that to finish off arm. And open up. Then you come down here. You take the waist. Flip that. Flip it forward. And oh, flip it this way. You have to make sure that this piece, this is the front of his uh, waist. Here are the knees. And there. And um, something else I wanted to say about this guy. Um, oh, that uh, Dreadwing was not in the movies. He did show up in the movie tie-in comics. So did this guy show up in the comics. But he initially started off as one of the flying drones. Dreadwing, at least, was one of the flying drones oh and if you really want to you can like lift these little panels up well, you don't really need to it looks fine that way but I lift them up because they're there and if you really really want to you can also move these little panels next to his heads move them angle them down like that even more of a I don't know menacing look and here he is this is uh, overcast in his robot mode and to finish up my uh, thought uh, Dreadwing his previous form appeared in the uh, movie tie-in video game, the Transformers The Game, as one of the flying drones, and they called them Dreadwing. 
And that aside, here is Overcast. And I gotta say, the best thing I like about this guy is his paint job. That's why I got him over a uh, Dreadwing sort of, um, what did he have? He had like a, a grayish, whitish, arctic camo look about him with purple. And I didn't really like it. I actually really like this guy's uh, color scheme. That if you, that I'm just going to say right now, if you're going to get one of the uh, figures, either Dreadwing or this guy, I highly recommend getting this guy instead. Uh, also, he's very uh, mild. He's very uh, subtle. Like this is the best way to describe it of the uh, all spark blue because there's only just accents of it, which I think is really nice. They don't go overboard with it. <sighs> now the negatives with this guy is that he doesn't really move around too much, not much posability, especially in the legs. Yeah, the legs can go that far back. This also comes with posability. The legs go that far back, that far back, and can do a nice kick, but that's due to transformation. But he essentially. He has a knee. He has a decent knee. There you go. That far, that far. And he can do that. If you really want, he can do like a crab walk if you really wanted him to. Um, the arms, it's a ball joint, ball joint, and I don't know what that is. I think it's like a swivel in there, I think. But the way this is made, can't really move with him. He can like do this. He can do this. But he doesn't have an elbow, not a real one. He just do that in his hand a little kind of weird uh the neck is on a ball joint the neck is on a ball joint the actual head is uh another swivel kind of like the hands and uh well ball joints do what ball joints do but yeah he doesn't really move too much and that's like a big a, a big uh problem i have with this figure and obviously the same with the dreadwing figure is that he doesn't really pose well the proportions are also kind of weird. I think he has his legs are way too stubby and his torso is way too big. Like the legs should be a little bit longer. Uh, usually I don't really talk about proportions that well because I think because uh, I think most of the figures that I that I have have really nice proportions. But this guy, oh, one bonus, he does have a waist swivel. That's cool. And he has a really big uh, cone head. Just the entire front part is just his head. Which is okay. Eh, there's really not much to say about this guy. He's cool. Like I like him. I like how unique he is. Uh, unique he is. I think the jet mode is fantastic. Same thing with this uh, color scheme. The robot, the the transformation is simple, and the robot mode is eh, it's okay. Well, just just look at it. It's okay. The legs I still feel are a bit way too small and stubby. For the massive like upper body that he has and these massive arms, and oh, uh, one cool thing you can do is that with these uh, fi uh, thruster missiles, you put him in here, and he can fire him. Oh, he can, he can fire him. Or one thing I like to do is just pretend that he has um that these are sort of like fire swords that he's able to use the. Uh, the actual thrusters that are now his hands and project flames so you can either have like flamethrowers or even like a fire sword or something that's kind of neat that that i do like that that is a really nice little feature uh, but yeah overall this guy is okay like i said the jet mode really nice is really nice the transformation's okay it's simple and the robot mode could have been better like i said the legs are the biggest issue here and that his arms don't really move too much like side to side they're fine but it's kind of weird so yeah uh overall he's okay uh, but like i said if you're gonna get this mold he was also he was repainted again in a special gift box by uh, like an orange uh, like a tiger there was an orange tiger stripe repaint called fear swoop same figure but orange but honestly i think if you're gonna if you really want this the the uh, this mold this specific mold I highly recommend getting this version because I really like this paint job because the, the difference between the three of them is just the paint is the uh, colors and I really like how this one does the colors on it. This is a really, really cool looking figure paint wise. Uh, other than that, he's okay. He, he just, he just overall, he's a decent figure. Is he a must have? Mm, maybe. 
And that's really up to you. I like them and I have them. And like I said, if you're going to get any version of this mold, I highly recommend Overcast over Fear Swoop and Dreadwing because the paint job is really nice on this guy. And that has been my review of the Transformers, the movie, the 2007 movie, Deluxe Class Overcast. This is Composite Energo, signing off. Peace out.